the first thing you want to do before using Fluberoo in a Google Sheet is to make sure that you have the spreadsheet open from your Google Form, which contains the responses. The next thing you would want to do would be to go under the Add-ons menu and choose Fluberoo. If you have not yet installed that to Google Sheets, you would want to do that prior to this step. We're going to choose Enable Fluberoo in the Sheet. Fluberoo does have a nice helpful tutorial you can access by clicking Help. You will get a message saying that it has been enabled. And the next thing that we do is we're going to set it up for grading. There are some more tutorials available by clicking the link on this window as well. So I'm going to go back under the add-ons menu. I will choose Fluberoo and we have several different options. We're going to go to grade assignment. The first step that we need to do is to determine the point value of each question. What it does is it's collecting information from each column. So it actually is showing each question as a column, even though they're not necessarily a question. So for example, you'll see email address. You can see this is grayed out. Grading option, identify student. Sometimes Google Forms can properly determine what should and should not be graded. The next column is a leftover from my previous tutorial where I had my Google Forms set up as a quiz. It's counting this as normal grading. I don't want it to do that. I want it to ignore it. So I'm gonna choose skip grading, but you'll notice these other options. Identify student, skip grading, normal grading, and grade by hand. So I'm gonna go skip grading and it'll gray it out. And then it will display your questions. So you can set the point value between one and 10 for each question. The checkbox column, this would be if you had a question that was extra credit, you would check that box and assign a point value. I'm gonna leave mine as normal grading, point value of one. And then I'm gonna scroll down and click the continue button. The next step will be you have to identify what the answer key is. The way I typically do this is I complete the form myself and create my answer key. And I'm going to do that right now with my bottom one here. I'm going to click continue. And then it will grade the assignment. Now I'm not going to get the results I'm really looking for here, probably, because some of these form submissions were done yesterday. Some of them were done today, so the answers are actually varied. Then you get your completion um, confirmation, and what it does is it takes your Google Sheet, it adds another page inside of it named Grades, which contains a grade for each submission. So I'm going to close out of this. Here are the three responses. Now remember, we had four, but I just identified one as being the answer key. It will give you a summary at the top, points possible, average points, counted submissions and things like that. And then it will show you your students and their responses. These are highlighted in red because as you can see from the grades, they're not a, a high score. So I can scroll through and I can see how it was graded. But if you remember my form that I did create, I had a paragraph question. I didn't have an answer key, or maybe I might have answers may vary for it. So in this case, no one received credit. So here's what I do in Google, in Google Sheets with Fluberoo. I go between the grades column or the grade sheet and the student submissions sheet. I go through and I check the responses. And if I'm looking at what is your favorite se why is your favorite season so special? And I review these answers and I determine, yes, each of these students should receive a point. I can go back to the grades column and I can just manually enter the score and override what Fluberoo may have uh, graded as incorrect. And now if I scroll over, you'll see that it did reflect a change in the grades.